Okay, you see you get the little countdown and then the recording starts, so you do have at least a three second warning. How many of you, is there anybody here that has not been on Blackboard? Everybody has? Good deal. So we don't have to go over how to get to Blackboard at least. Once you get to Blackboard, you just got to select this class, Math and Business Applications. Now just so you know, that Blackboard is not required for this class. It just makes life a lot easier. There's a lot of tools on there that will help. And your gradebook is posted on Blackboard, so you can check your own grades if you want to out there. Um, you'll get to an opening announcement. We'll go through what this all means here in a little bit. We do have an online homework and quiz management system. With the multiple sites, it just makes it a lot easier to do things online like that. Most of the interesting stuff for this class will be under course information. Have my syllabus, which we're going to look at in a second. My contact information, which we'll look at on the syllabus, will be easier to see. My weekly schedule, which we'll look at in just a second as well. And then below this is where the links to the recordings will be. Obviously, there's no, no recordings out there yet, so there's nothing down there right now. Usually, it'll take a day or so to put them out there because it does take me quite a while to process them. Like a three, uh, well, we'll do it about 50 minutes at a time on our lecture recordings. A 50 minute recording will take about 20 minutes to process. So it'll take me a day or so to get them out there. Okay, let's look at my schedule first. If you need to get a hold of me outside of class, most of my free time is in the mornings. You can see I have big open spots from 9.30 to 12.30 pretty much every morning except for Friday. Um, if you're obviously in New Richmond, you can't just stop in and see me, but you can call and try to get a hold of me then. I recommend send me an email and say that you're going to call. That way I can be near my phone because I'm not in my office very often. Here in Rice Lake, this classroom is the best place to find me. Um, there is a class in here from 9.30 to 10.30 every day. Otherwise, I'm in this classroom pretty much all the time. And if none of those times fit, just let me know and we'll figure out a time that I can get together with you and help you out. Let's get to the syllabus. Okay, as promised, there's my contact information, a little bit easier to read. The best way to get a hold of me is email. I check my email at least twice a day, so I'll get your message relatively quickly. Um, if you have to miss class, I don't necessarily require that you notify me, but if there's something going on and you need me to send you anything, let me know and I'll get it back to you. Otherwise, if you have to get a hold of me and you can't get to a computer, you can dial my extension any of the WITC numbers and the extension will get you to my voicemail. And I usually check that about once a day. And like I said, stopping by my office doesn't do any good because I'm really there. But you can find me here. Well, let's see. Room and time, you're here, so I don't need to tell you where the class is. Course description. This class is in three sections. Our first section is basic math and algebra. So this first few weeks are going to be kind of basic. A lot of review. Hopefully I don't bore you guys too much, especially tonight. Um, second section is merchandising, markups, um, invoicing, and stuff like that. Third section is on investment, interest, annuities, and, and all that fun stuff. Let's see, textbooks. You guys should have a textbook that looks something like this. For those of you in New Richmond, it just says business math on the top. And it's kind of an ugly brown design on the front. If you bought a new one, it should come bundled with a, an access code for my math lab, which is our online homework system. If you have a used one or if you don't have that code, you're going to have to use a credit card or something to purchase that when you go to register for my math lab. It's like 95 bucks for the access, but it's still cheaper than having to buy the whole thing. And we'll go over my math lab in just a couple minutes. Other supplies, it says a scientific calculator is highly recommended. Um, that's an understatement. I don't require, I mean, I can't require a calculator, but there's no way you're getting through the course without one. So make sure you grab one. If you don't have one and you're looking to buy one, the Texas Instruments TI-30 is, works really, it's probably the easiest one to use. There's Sharps and Casios that do the same thing out there, but this one's just simpler to use. If you already have one and you're not sure if it's good enough, come and talk to me and I'll take a look and let you know. Okay. This is just another list of all our topics. If you're looking at that and for some reason this is all stuff you've done before, 
There is a test out procedure for this class. It costs $20 a credit to attempt the test out, so it would be 60 bucks to attempt the test out for this class. And I will tell you of about the last dozen or so tests that I have graded, one person has passed. So I don't really highly push the test out for this class. Grades. Okay, 80% of your grade in this class is on the three unit tests and then the weekly quizzes. Um, there won't be a quiz this week because you didn't have any homework from last week. But there will be a new homework assignment starting today that will be due next Tuesday. And then after next Tuesday there will be a quiz that will actually open up in the, the online system. It will open up during class next week. It will be available until the end of the day Wednesday. So you have like 30 or hours or whatever to finish the quizzes. If something comes up and you have a weird work schedule or something and you can't get it done, let me know. I'm usually pretty flexible. Um, so that's your 80% is off. I think it comes out to be like 10 or 11 quizzes and then the three exams. The other 20% of your grade is homework and participation. There is a weekly homework assignment due every week except for the week after an exam. Participation, come to class, don't upset the instructor. Um, grading scale is your standard WITC grading scale. By this point in the week, I'm sure you guys have all seen that several times, so we're not going to talk about that. You can read it if you need to. Um, dropping and adding, of course, if you drop during the first week of the class, you get a full refund. After that, it's reduced. At 12 weeks, you can no longer drop. Hopefully, that's not an issue for anybody. Other policies. At this point in the semester, I'm assuming you guys know you can't cheat, you can't. Okay, good. I don't need to talk about that then. Accommodations. If you have any needs, whether it's a diagnosed disability or if you just have math anxiety or hate math or struggle taking tests. I know I've, quite often I have people say that there's too many people in the room when they take a test. It's distracting. Um, whatever you need, come talk to me and we'll figure out some way to make it easier for you. This is just a note saying that the class is videoed. You can't use it for your own purposes and all that. And that's, again, another list of the units of the class. Any questions? Okay. Sorry for flying through that, but at this point in the semester, we've all seen enough syllabi that we don't really want to see anymore, do we? Okay. I'm going to end that recording there.